Now already we have discussed about the basic file and directory permission. Now we are going to see some special type of permission which we add to a file or a directory which is called as SUID and a GUID permissions. What this means? This means you are inheriting a permission from a program owner. So if suppose I have created a program and I have certain directories, I want the source owner of that program should be the same. So it should carry its owner permissions or a group permissions to my specific directory, I'll be using the SUID or GUID. So here, basically your SUID, SUID will inherit the completely program's owner. Now, for example, I'm running a program which was created by other user, for example, user one, and I am user two. Now, that program I'm going to run, but I want the permission of the directories and the files which I'm going to create and where I'm going to run the program should have the owner permission with the origin of that particular program owner. So automatically it will inherit that particular permission. Same way if I want to inherit the group permission, even though I have a separate group, it will inherit the group permission or the group of the specific program from its source itself. So I'll be using a GUID permission. So let us see how we generally use this SUID permission and GUID permission how we assign it into the directory or a file and also how we can check whether we have assigned this particular permission, how it shows you into the list. So for that, let us move on to our Linux portal. So you can find somewhere into my file, I have the permission in such a way, like we have S instead of your execute permission. Now this is your UID. So generally uh, your SUID what we define that is a secure user ID or where generally I want some program to be run by this particular owner. Now we are not going to provide any pseudo permission or means that any power user permission to this user and we are not going to provide the complete full access permission. But if I want to run some program or you know some application using this particular file so I'm going to permit it by using a SUID for a user and same way if I want to define for group I can use a GUID permissions so let us see how we generally assign it now for example I'll be creating a directory or a particular file and we'll be changing the permission for them so let us have a look I'm going to create a file here I'll create a touch file itself with name file 2 okay and into the file 2 the permission what I have is read write only for the owner, read and write for the group, and only read permission for the others. Now for setting the um, SUID permission, what we can do is we have to use the symbolic method uh, for assigning the permission here. And just I want to define U space U plus S, means we are going to add a secure key, and we are going to set a SUID permission into the org user and then I'm going to define the file name and just hit enter you can find it is attached to your user same way if I want to add the group ID permission I'll be giving G plus S and then file 2 and you can check we have the same but can you see one difference like you know uh, here uh, I have added the SUID and GUID permissions and I can see this is a capital S while uh, the existing file which I have shown you when I started with the practical it is a small s now what the difference between this capital S and small s is when your permission of a file has an execute permission earlier it will have a small s if it doesn't has any execute permission, it will show you or notify you by capital S. So that we can make a difference whether like, you know, as it is replacing your execute place, uh, execute permission place, we can call it as. And uh, this way it will show you whether you have the execute permission or not. Now for changing this capital S, what I need to do is I just need to add an execute permission to this. So if I add execute permission, automatically this will change to small s. Let us have a look. CH mode U plus and then X 
and then I'm going to add the file name and I can check this s is changed to small s means the small s means it is having an execute permission same way here rws even I want to define the permission for my group as an execute permission I can also define by giving the command g plus x we have already seen earlier and you can see same way if I want to remove as we have removed the permissions and you know the uh, permissions into different files by defining minus sign we can also remove the GUID and SUID the same method I can remove it U minus S same way G minus S for file 2 let's have a look it's been removed completely so this is how we generally add a SUID and GUID permission for a particular file same way we can also remove a SUID and GUID permission from the owner of a file so here we have completed with this video in the next video I'm going to explore more about layer Linux directory structures